Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nia Ayana and I am back with another video. Yay! If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me. It's so nice to meet you. And please, subscribe to my channel. You won't be disappointed, okay? I do a little bit of everything, but I am like the DIY queen, self-proclaimed, of course. Mm. <laughs> So fun facts, I have a small business, and when I mean small, I mean like it's giving, <laughs> microscopic. I am relaunching the end of September, and I decided to like, you know, record a little bit of content for you guys because I am doing everything by myself. I wanted to show you guys how I am getting ready for this relaunch. It's so loud outside. <laughs> okay, anyway, so one of my products uh, is eyelashes just like you know everybody else in the whole wide world okay <laughs> um and in this video i wanted to show you guys how i make my eyelash packaging myself featuring the cricut maker okay so if you're interested in seeing how i make my own eyelash packaging or boxes or however you describe it as continue to watch this video before we get into this make sure you comment subscribe and like this video, I really appreciate it. I am almost at 4,000 subscribers. That is amazing to me. Like, thank you guys so much for supporting me. Yay. All right, here's the video. Step one, make template. So I found this website, templatemaker.nl, from like multiple YouTube channels, and it is basically a website that offers templates for different types of boxes for free, which is clutch. Um, they even have like different shapes, sizes, like whatever you need, they got. And I feel like they have a custom option too, um, if you want to customize your boxes, but I don't think that's free. <laughs> So I picked the box that looks the most similar to lash packaging and I took apart a lash box that I already had just randomly because you know I love lashes, I always buy them. And I used that as my guide. So I measured um, like the tabs and the length, the width using uh, that box and then I imported it into Template Maker as you can see here. different export settings that you can use while exporting your template but um I kind of feel like I worked better with JPEG it worked the best for me out of like SVG and Cricut and PNG um, so that's what I chose now if you want to try using something else and that works better for you go right ahead they all work it's just it's just it's just they work differently, and I prefer the JPEG better, if that makes sense.
change the color to white so I can see what I'm uh, doing with this template. And you'll see what I mean by that in a second. Also, sometimes when you um, import your template into design space, the sizing can be off a little bit. So all you have to do is just go in and adjust the sizing. This is, it's a simple fix. So next we're adding the window. Now I measured the window opening on the same lash box that I used as a guide earlier and I created a square using the measurements. So now I am centering and aligning the square window, which is actually now a rectangle, <laughs> with my template to make everything even. Now that I have the window aligned, I am selecting my whole template and then I am using the slice option to cut the actual window out of the template. The slice option is basically like cutting out the rectangle window out of your template and you're going to end up having two parts so to get this actual window to happen you have to move the rectangle out of the way and then it will be like your cutout that you have to remove next. I'm not really explaining this right, but you can kind of see visually what I mean. <laughs> and after the two rectangles are removed, you can just delete them because we don't need those anymore. Now that we have the window, it's time to add our score lines to our template. The score lines are going to make it easier for our box to actually fold. The Cricut is actually cool because um, it's scoring the cardstock that you're using to cut out of and not actually cutting it. And this makes it easier for your box to fold. If you need to know where the score line should go, um, you can always use the original JPEG. Just look at it and use that as a guide to determine where you put these lines.
cutout tabs where the box closes. Uh, this is in the template, but it just didn't transfer over when we uploaded it, so you just have to re-add it. And you need this in order for the box to actually close. to attach everything together. This is good because when you go to cut your template, everything is fused together. Um, you have to make sure you do this because if you don't and you press make it, everything will be like a jumbled up mess and it'll just ruin everything you created. So this is very important. Also very important, make sure you say your project. <laughs> Step two, cut templates. So now we are clicking make it to begin cutting our box out of cardstock. Um, you make sure everything on this area is lined up properly with the mat and then you click continue. Now you have to choose your set base material and we are using cardstock. Um, cardstock comes in many different sizes, thickness, um, different options. So make sure you choose your material that fits your type of cardstock that you're using. I'm doing medium cardstock and the pressure more um, because just to be on the safe side and make sure it actually cuts through. Now we're going to go to uh, our tools option and I have a scoring stylus, not a scoring wheel, so I have to change it to that. And next we head to the Cricut machine to load our tools up and get started with this cut. So I'm adding my scoring stylus to the machine as you can see here. And I am loading um, my cardstock that I've already placed on my Cricut mat and loading it into the machine. I press the arrow to load the mat into the machine. And now I'm pressing the C to begin cutting. possibilities are endless, I'm telling y'all. I can make so many more templates.
slash name. So I designed a random name in Cricut Design Space. I went with the name Lashed. I did this off camera because this video is already long enough and <laughs> If you want to learn how to cut vinyl on the Cricut, check out my Cricut unboxing video. It shows it on there. So after I bead out um, my lettering and apply transfer tape on top, I am placing this lashed name over one of the templates that I've already cut out. I decided to use it on um, the black lash box because you can see it better and look y'all it came out so cute I wanted to show you guys real quick that if you get cardstock that has foil properties on it, like this one, um, it has rose gold foil, the transfer tape might mess up the paper like it did here. A quick fix is to laminate the cardstock first. Um, I have a laminator, but this one was super cheap. I believe I got it for like less than $30 at Target. Um, I'll have the link below. And then cut out the template like normally and add the logo on top. It works much better. what type of plastic to use like I struggled um, I ended up purchasing three different types of plastic um, cellophane sheets clear lay film and acetate sheets this is what the cellophane sheet looks like and actually it was a little too thin for me I didn't really like it and you're gonna see in a second um, once I apply it it kind of wrinkled up a little bit in the lash window, but it is the cheapest option. If it doesn't bother you too much, uh, you can use this. I'll have all the prices below. Next, we have the acetate sheets, which are my fave and what I will be using for my uh, lash boxes. It's not as thin as cellophane, but it's not, but it's not that thick as well. Like it has the perfect amount of thin and thickness and it doesn't wrinkle like cellophane. This of course is my number one choice. Next we have clear lay film. Um, it is a little too thick for me. I didn't like it. Uh, it just was pointless and it's the most expensive out of them three. Again, I'll have the prices listed below if you uh, have any questions on that. I wouldn't be using this. I would be using acetate sheets instead, but I mean, it was cool, I guess. I am using the Elmer's glue tape to secure the plastic film um, on the inside of the window, as you can see here. by like the cellophane um, crumbling up or wrinkling up on the blue lash box. Um, this pink rose gold one, I'm using the acetate sheet, which is my favorite. And then the last lash box, I will be using the um, clear lay film on.
So since we added score lines to our cut, it is extremely easy to fold our lash box where we need it um, folded. I am using that same Elmer's glue tape uh, to secure the box on the flaps as you can see here. I'm gonna leave one side open so I can place the last trays in it, but here it goes. Voila! These came out super cute. I tried different styles just to see what I like and dislike. Let me know if you guys want some of these templates. If you don't feel like making them, I can like put them on my website and uh, sell them to you for super, super cheap. Just comment below and let me know. watching. I hope you were able to learn something um, in this video, even if eyelash packaging doesn't pertain to you particularly. Hopefully you learned a different way to use a Cricut Maker to make a box. Uh, for my small business girls or guys out there, I hope this video was helpful. I just a bit. <laughs> I hope this video was helpful to you and if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll be sure to answer them. All right, love you guys. Bye. I will be cuter next video because I look like look at my ears, they look ratchet. Look at my hair, it is nappy. Can't even get the comb through. Oh my god, for real though. All right, this wig is going in the trap, the trash can, honey. Actually, should have been thrown away. Come on, baby. Oh, my God.